put together this quick video for Allison who asks the question, does this service provide a list of banks with FDIC loss sharing agreements and whether the institution has commercial loss share agreement, single family or both? Also the date of the loss share agreement. Okay. So the quick answer is yes, we do have that information. The longer answer I'm gonna get into in just a minute. So we're looking at the bank prospector homepage. We can see that so far 3,450 out of 7,249 banks are currently reporting for December, which is the most recent. Uh, this is January 28th as I record this. So there's a few more days for the rest of the banks to finish. So let's jump right in though and have a look at the banks. The way that I'd go about this first is I'd look for, uh, I'd go to advanced search. And what I could do is there's 90 some odd criteria that we can select from in here. So let's just come down and we'll pick residential law sharing. So there are HELOCs or uh, lines of credit, first position and juniors all get reported in here. So if I come down, I go uh, residential first position, non-accrual loss share, who has this? And I say, I wanna find banks with at least $1 or more of it. And I, nationwide, I'm not selecting for a location. I click submit search. And I can see so far there are 14 banks that have the loss share agreements that have filed so far for this quarter. Now, if I wanted to go back one, and I go to, again, residential, law sharing, residential, first position, non-accrual, law share, $1 or more. We'll add that, submit the search, and I can see there's 95 different banks that have that. We could do the same thing for commercial or construction or multifamily. We can do it for 30 to 89 day late, 90 plus uh, day late and still accruing or non, -a non accrual. And I'll just show you what that looks like. So this bank hasn't reported yet, and that's why this is red, hasn't yet reported for this quarter. But I can come down here, I can, I, I can see siloed by asset type what they have for loss share. So they've got 3 million out of a total of 3.46 in commercial. REO is covered under, under law share, multifamily construction, residential, and so on. I can see that also for the loan types. So here's here are their loans. Here's the total portfolio that's covered under law share, under owner occupied or under commercial non-owner occupied. And I can see for 30 to 89 day late, these folks aren't reporting stuff as 90 days or else in non-accrual. Uh, what all is falling under uh, loss share, what portion of that. So I have some other information about this in the training, but I want to make a quick video so you can see how quick that is to uh, pop in here and see if you can identify which banks you should be talking to and maybe some of the people that you ought to be talking to there. Thanks so much. <laughs>